All right, here's a 1977 F-250. It's the uh, early years, so it's the uh, traditional high boy, has a divorce transfer case. But uh, I put in a electric power steering. Anyone that knows about the uh, power assist apparatus that these trucks had on them early in the days, they were a leaky hydraulic mess, so I replaced it. It was still working, but it was leaking really bad on me, and I wanted to to do something different with my build that I got going on. Uh, but I ordered this, the Stearman Cycle, down in Kansas. I uh, put together the bracket. Uh, if you can kind of see the bracket down there. Basically it bolts into the uh, top of the uh, engine mounts there. Uh, I did have to get with a different bracket because I have the 460. This truck used to have the 400. So the spacing was a little bit different. But uh, his kit came with the uh, steering shaft there that you see, to the uh, bracket, to the motor assembly, and another little uh, steering if you can see that, and then uh, it goes into your original gearbox. Um, you have two power cords that go up, and those two go into through the firewall into the uh, control module, and then there's a power cord that goes that I ran around the back of the firewall. It goes around here, uh, and then I wired it directly into my battery. Uh, and he comes with a, uh, puts a big uh, blade fuse in there. I believe it's uh, 80 amp, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so anyway, this is it underneath the hood. The only other thing I had to do, because if you go outside the hood here, you go underneath, if you are aware of these, they have a huge hydraulic uh, basically drag link between the uh, pitman arm there and to the steering. Uh, got rid of that, ordered a MOG. Uh, basically it's for the manual steering truck uh, just to replace what was there. So got rid of that and then if you notice there is no more uh, the hydraulic assist. Looks like a uh, steering stabilizer underneath here. I am going to put a steering stabilizer on here just to damper a little bit but actually it drives way better uh, with this steering it doesn't seem to wander around the road the way I have it so that's pretty much underneath the hood and underneath the truck inside the cab underneath the dash here there is a uh, basically a ECU that uh, gets wired in um, really easy it's just plug and play you just find a place to mount it I mounted it right there it's kind of where, where a steering cycle recommended as well. Uh, power goes in. There is a ground that comes out of there. I already had some gauges and a nice ground set up uh, that go, went into a ground bar, bus bar. Uh, and then I have a, a fuse system here for my gauges. And I had some spares. So basically that's where I wired my power into. And it's keyed power is what that is for. Um, there is a switch you put on here to dial the sensitivity. I found with my truck uh, actually having it all the way to the full right uh, seems to make it better, but I've only had this in for a couple days. So um, I'm still fine tuning it. When I put a steering stabilizer on, I may find out that I need to put it uh, a little bit less sensitive, um, but right now it actually drives very well. Uh, don't need to start the truck, just basically put the uh, accessory power on. And uh, I've got 33 inch tires on it. You can see. That's basically, that's my steering wheel, the squeaks that you hear. I need to pull it apart. Um, that's more or less there. And if you look, tires are uh, turned. This is coming back the other direction. And that's that direction. Oh, might not have had it on there. The uh, power steering. It's electric power steering. Gets rid of the hydraulic assist. Um, didn't really have too much of an issue wiring it in. Like I said, ECU, plug and play. Um, the only issue I had was the bracket that initially came with it. I believe it was probably for one of the other engine setups. So the spacing between those two uh, nuts or bolts basically, top of the engine. We're actually narrower, about like that. Um, and with my setup, I had to have him make another bracket. 
but the uh, he did that, got it sent to me, had everything put in there, and uh, it works uh, like a charm. Haven't had any issue with it. Like I said, it's only been on for oh three or four days. I absolutely like driving it now. Uh, it doesn't wander going down the road, and uh, you also don't have the leaky hydraulic mess. Also got rid of a little bit of uh, drag because there is no more uh, pulley. If you look, um, basically the pump and everything is completely removed. That's the electric uh, steering kit for 1977 or earlier um, F250s.